All right. <clears throat> Hard fought game out there. Uh, just, um, you know, closer than you want it to be, but uh, it's, it's honestly a game that we were ready to play four quarters. So, uh, had prepared for that all week long. Um, had nothing but respect and, and understanding that this is a good football team we're facing. Um, easily, they could be 4-0. And uh, they have the, the firepower, um, I think, especially offensively. Uh, to uh, you know, throw the ball down the field and make plays. I thought Fafita, um, you know, we knew that it, you know, it'd be a different style probably that we'd see from the quarterback play. Um, but just knowing who he was, uh, we knew he'd be able to deliver the ball and uh, throw accurately um, and give their, you know, their guys a chance to make plays, uh, whether it be down the field. Um, McMillan, you know, we know what he is, and then uh, Cowing and the rest of the crew out of the backfield. Um, we knew that the balanced attack uh, that they had, uh, they're better in the run game than they were a year, a year ago. And you, you know, the game, you saw the game just uh, flying by first half with limited possessions, and so the game got shortened. Um, some opportunities in the second half for us, uh, for sure, to uh, put the game away. Um, disappointed in that, for sure. Um, you know, just a turnover inside the 10 and uh, you know, uh, some penalties there, uh, holding call um, inside the five. Uh, so uh, got to be better there. Um, had opportunities to, to, I think, not put the game away, but change uh, the, the, the flow of the game and uh, what the score was there, especially in the last 10, 12 minutes. So um, a lot of things to learn from, but I know that winning, uh, winning games uh, is not easy on the road, and uh, especially in our conference. Um, and uh, you know, we'll take the win, 5-0. With a bye week, uh, we're right where we want to be. Questions? Did you, uh, you notice you, you you ran for all your touchdowns today, and you're the the leading passing attack in the in the country. But you kind of shifted gears completely, and, and Michael didn't throw a touchdown pass, and he was leading the nation in that too. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of an unusual approach the way the game unfolded. Would you agree? Uh, yeah, I think a lot of it is just uh, the the long throws didn't end up with touch, you know, being touchdowns, and so you're getting those uh, runs from inside the five, eight yard line, uh, whatever those distances were. And so, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it happened in different ways, um, but we'll take that. You know, we feel confident in the run game down there in the red zone. Um, I think actually we're getting stronger in some areas. Uh, Dylan, um, I thought, you know, really is becoming a work, workhorse, catching the ball out of the backfield, can do some things, uh, you know, making the first guy miss, uh, you know, catching check downs, um, running through arm tackles, and then uh, even carrying the pile there like we saw in the fourth quarter. We saw Tooley went out early. Any update on how he's doing? No, yeah, he wasn't able to finish the game. Um, I think good, good, good time with the bye week, uh, be able to get him back. I don't think it's anything serious. Um, but yeah, he'll be, he obviously couldn't play uh, in the second half. We're used to seeing you guys throw the ball down the field quite a bit. It looks like they tried to take that away. Can you talk a little bit about what they were doing? Yeah, they, 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 they are. I mean, they were playing it safe and making us earn it. And, um, you know, played the field position game there early. Um, you know, so, uh, you know, naturally, uh, you know, we hit the check downs. We did, you know, there in the third quarter, uh, find uh, a ways to get behind them, uh, some play action uh, that, that got set up uh, with some with the run game a little bit. So, um, yeah, you, you, you love that. I mean, because we know that that's our style, but just it isn't always going to happen that way. So, um, you know, we continue to execute. Mike uh, had a high completion percentage, especially in the first half. Um, some opportunities again where we could have done a few things better. Um, putting the game away, especially in the fourth quarter. Is the, the bye week a factor in how you guys have kind of managed Jalen McMillan coming back? Um, maybe, maybe a little bit, um, but it just we deemed it, it was not uh, in, in best interest to be able to play him. He just wasn't quite where he needed to be, um, being able to practice. Um, he's been pushing hard. I mean, he's had his pads on, helmet on, uh, out there working every single day. So, I mean, he was getting really close. Um, Maybe another day or two, uh, and and just the way he was coming along, he might have been able to, to get out there and help us. But just didn't feel like he had that extra oomph uh, that we needed, uh, or that he felt he needed as well. You You'd probably like to win every game by forty if you could. But do you find that having tests like this are, are good for the team going forward? Yeah, I mean, it, it and it. There's two pieces, right? You you play in close games, and you know what it feels like again to have to answer uh, answer the bell and come up with a, with a play. Um, and there's also moments that we can learn from, you know, where we missed opportunities to extend the, or put put you know, spread, you know, um, position ourselves with a with a greater difference in the score, you know, just finishing off some drives there. Uh, in the in the fourth quarter, so um, you know, even just get a couple chances where some interceptions, uh, you know, we didn't finish those either. So 
um, it, it's great learning experiences. We just got to be a, a little bit better. It's not like the guys can't make those plays. The onside kick at the end, is that the kind of onside kick you were anticipating? Yeah. It looks like Rome really got hit. He did. Yeah, he did. He did. But, you know, credit to Rome. He just, you know, fighting, uh, you know, it's important to him, you know, to get wins. And um, we put him in those spots, uh, you know, he, he and guys like JP. And, um, you know, we got guys that do, uh, that we can trust when it really comes down to it. And uh, that was right where we expected it and uh, we did a great job of lining up um, you know we didn't want to call timeout because we want to have them a chance them have a chance to, to reset and maybe you know give a second look so we felt good about we you know what we practiced and uh, we're ready for uh, we work on it all the time uh, and uh, the guys executed very well did Rome come out of that okay yeah yeah how would you assess the way you guys play defensively generally uh, today um, I think uh, you know, there's, there's the, the takeaway was huge. It was a great chance for us to really, um, again, I don't want to say put the game away, but just extend the lead. And uh, that was a big momentum swing. Um, there's just a couple times where you'd like to see, you know, the fourth and one get a stop. I mean, they, they were taking some risks on their own side of the field. Um, and, you know, I think on both sides of the ball, we just got to do a better job with some penalty still, you know, and I think, that, you know, people are looking for it, um, you know, and, we just got to do better. We got to make sure if there's a gray area, we're not in it. Uh, but, um, you know, I think we're making them earn it. We made them earn it all the way down the field. Um, sometimes we just got to uh, attack a little bit more, you know, trust trust everything. But I thought, thought it was a solid performance. Um, you know, not a lot of big plays down the field. Guys were in position. Felt like uh, the communication was good. Um, you know, we're playing physical up front. They, they are a better run football team than they were a year ago, like by far by far and so uh, we knew that that balance uh, would be would be something that would help them uh, and you know might even open up some play action which I don't really think hurt us that much it was just uh, you know being better and trying to find ways to get off the field especially on third down. Yeah, the, what the, the you in there when you need one yard to, to end the game is how confident is that group on offense right now that they can they can make those kind of plays? Yeah you know it's just it was so close I actually thought we got it on the play before um, you know if the whistle blew or what before the extra surge, but um, you know, getting big yards on first down, you know, gives us a lot of confidence. And um, the guys, the guys did a nice job. And I think you know, having Dylan and some of our running backs that uh, that are running hard right now, um, that gives you a lot of confidence as well. So um, you know, that's a tough spot to be in because you know, you know, you'd love to you know, punt it and pin them deep and probably make it impossible, but you also don't want to risk a, a pump block or anything like that happening. You know there's only going to be about six or seven seconds left that they'd have even if you didn't get it, but the guys did a nice job finishing it so we didn't have to worry about it. You Is mentioned the interception. Um, what did you see with Nunley? It looked like he just absolutely stole it from that guy. Yeah, that was a really, uh, it was a great play to see out of Vince. Um, anticipation, you know, knowing that um, Fafita was uh, under duress there, um, even kind of getting, starting to get dragged down and knowing that, uh, you know, he's going to have to get rid of it or he's going down to the ground. And so I thought it was good anticipation. Love the way he he attacked and finished the play. He's also making the most of his opportunity. Yeah, he's doing, he did a good job. He had a couple of good weeks of practice now. You know, a few weeks ago, um, really pretty much got the start and played, you know, a lot of snaps. And so he's, uh, he's stacking up reps, uh, you know, with the opportunity uh, without Asa out there and, um, you know, making the most of it. We saw some different edges in the fourth quarter <coughs> in terms of Milton Hopkins played a lot, Lance Ho Holtzclaw was out there. Were there any injury issues there? Or was, mm -hmm. it, was it just trying to get some fresh guys in? Or yeah, was just a lot of reps, just a lot of pass rush over and over again. And so having to go a little deeper on the depth chart, you know, and uh, and get some guys out there. But, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you almost, you consider thinking about calling a timeout just to get the guys a breather. And uh, you know, get get your key guys back out on, on the football field. But uh, we still felt like it was in our best interest to just keep playing. And uh, you know, we weren't giving up the big play, but you know, they were slowly inching their way down the field too. I get that. I'm guessing a big conversation is going to be had about the number of penalties that you guys have. Are you surprised about that today? Yeah, I just, I mean, they're 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 really. I mean, they, they, they're gonna, if they see it, they're going to call it, you know. And so um, we just got to do a better job, especially on the holds, keeping our hands inside. And so, you know, I didn't, I didn't really see um, many of them on the field, so we'll have to watch the film on that to, to better understand what the, what they were. All right. All right.